in the sport of MMA, if you let it go to the judges, you let it out of your hands, you know? So I'm going to take the blame for this loss. I'm going to man up. It's my fault. I should have finished the fight. I had a couple opportunities during the fight that I should have finished it. I'm super happy I got a chance to fight Randy Couture, my hero, my legend. And I'm letting the rest of the 205 division know I'm going to whoop your ass when you get in the octagon with me. Couture's an aggressive guy who stays in your face. He, he roughs you up against the cage. You know, he steals rounds. You know, he's a professional, man. This guy's been around for a long time and knows how to fight. You want to beat Randy Couture, finish him. Definitely got my attention in the second round. He, I was protecting my head, and he kicked me square in the ribs uh, and got my attention. I think he, uh, he moved my heart uh, with, with that shot. But it was a close fight. I, I agreed that, that it could have went either way. I wouldn't have been terribly disappointed had the decision gone the other way. We came over here not too long ago, and, and, and there were no fans and not a lot of talent. And uh, that's, that's turned around really fast. And like I said, tonight, one of the things that impressed me the, the, the most was how educated the fans were here. They knew everything that was going on. When, when guys were going for submissions, they cheered. When guys, you know, pulled from, uh, you know, side control and got a guy back in the guard, they cheered. They, very educated crowd. It's really, really uh, grown fast here. It was a tough fight. It was a tough fight. But that's what I trained for, you know. So it's... Uh... It's good to, to, you know, have all that hard work pay off. It's a little disappointing to get in there and hit with one punch and they go down. So I like to have a good little war sometimes. It's, it's about learning. It's about getting better. Uh, I should have knocked him out. Um, there were a couple of opportunities I, sh I could have done, but, um, you know, that's, that's all in hindsight and it's, uh, it's a little too late now. So I've just got to look at it and learn from it and uh, get better for next time. I was planning on hitting him with a clean punch and when he hit the ground, I was going to finish him on the ground. Um, but when I rocked him and he, I, I could see he was hurt, I took him down and I was hoping to finish there, but... Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't manage to get enough space to land the shots. Dan was going to have his hands full tonight. I thought he was going to have a hard time tonight. He did not. He handled Swick easily. That is impressive. You know, you can sit here and I could say he should have finished it. He should have pulled the trigger. He should have finished it. He didn't. He did something that I, I didn't expect him to do tonight. He, he whooped Mike Swick's ass, and I did not expect that to happen.